For today's video, I'm going to do an experiment with my 58 Remington, Remington New Model Army, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try to extend the the ball to the end of the chamber because I basically I think I've been shooting about 30 grains out of this and it's still pretty recessed in the chamber. But I really don't want to put more than 30 grains in it. So I think by bringing the ball to the end of the chamber, by putting cream of wheat in there as a filler, it will make the gun more accurate and have tighter groups. That's the plan for today. So I'm going to start by measuring the volume of the cylinder and see where we go from there. So I'm going to start by taking the cylinder out, popping it in. Now I'm going to take, this is Pirate XP. That's what I'm planning on using today. And I'm filling one cylinder completely. Now I'm going to take my powder measure, I'm going to bring it down to about 70. And I'm going to pour this in. Okay, the cylinder seems empty. Okay, it's empty. Now I'm gonna do my best to raise this up. Okay. Now it's saying about 40 grains is what the cylinder is max fill. So I'm gonna reduce it by 10, 30 grains and see how that goes. Okay, it's 30 grains. I'm gonna go on the same cylinder. Okay, so it's pretty, it's pretty empty down there. Now I'm going to take 10 grains of cream of wheat. So it's pretty full. Now let's see. Let's see how much it compresses. Compresses down there pretty much all the way. So that's nice and flush. And I'm going to fire this one first one by itself. I loaded five cylinders in the same fashion on the loading stand. Now I'm ready to fire. I got Remington number 10 caps. just blew over but that was my first shot that's not a particularly tight group I'm gonna have to redo that
I aimed right here, and I got four of them in there. I think I got five in there. So I didn't see anything happen with that last shot. So I think all five of them went right there at about 15 paces. I think the reason why the first group was open a bit because it wasn't dirty. It needed to get lubed up, you know, and tighten everything up. So now I'm going to move it back to about 25 paces and see how it goes. I'm just going to leave the same plates. At the further distance, I was actually aiming here, and it was still going down. But it's still a pretty decent group overall, with most of my stuff being here last time. So I think it's all right. So if you're wondering what my conclusions are, I do think that bringing the ball to the end of the cylinder does make a difference. I like these things. They're really fun to shoot. And it does take a bit more time to do it, but I might try doing this inside of a paper cartridge. I have a conical bullet mold that I have to start doing, uh, start making some, some bullets with to try. And I'm going to make paper cartridges and stuff like that. I have the cartridge maker from Cap and Ball, so I'll be pretty happy with doing paper cartridges in the future. They're going to have to be loaded off the frame because supposedly they don't fit through here even on the 58 Remingtons. I think you gotta shave a little bit. That's what I've heard, but maybe I'll try that in the future. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.